Good morning, YouTube. PPS back here. It is the 28th of June. Coming at you live with our play of the day over here on YouTube. I got two spots for us today. I'm going to be rolling with two parlays here. One hit parlay and then one of our, I don't know if I'm going to call it wagon play, but the one with the alternate line Ks with a hit. Um, I love both spots today. Um, unfortunately, I get to recap a nice little loss. Tristan McKenzie gets absolutely blown to shreds yesterday. Um, Guardians do not obviously cover that line. Uh, went one and one on past the prop. Uh, ended up having a huge DFS night. Um, I completely faded the Dodgers, which um, was not recommended. I would not recommend that type of sweat to anybody, but I had Yankees and the Blue Jays stacks. Um, very, very nice with my boy Kevin Galsman. Kevin Galsman looked fantastic last night. Blue Jays came ready to play 7 nothing, I think, through 6. Um, ended up having their first five team total. Had Blue Jays uh, pretty much every single way you could possibly have them. Um, so, yeah, VIP went about three units up last night. Obviously, free play has got to be a little bit better over here. So I want to make sure that we get a winner for you guys today, um, maybe even two. So let's get right into it. I like today's slate quite a bit. A lot of good pitchers, but a lot of good offenses to um, kind of negate those, right? So I'm going to be going here. First one, obviously, I can't go a game without riding my guy, Carlos Rodon, here. Seven strikeouts. I'm going to pair it along with Garrett Cooper to get a hit today. This is going to get you at minus 105 to minus, 10, minus 110. Um, this is a fan duel line right now at 110. So I really, really like this spot. Um, Cooper reaches base safely or, or with a hit in 11 of his last 12. Um, and in the one game he didn't, he actually had a sack fly and actually had pretty productive outs. Um, I was watching that one there against the Mets a few games back. But yesterday, three for three, um, looked great. Um, that's against Adam Wainwright, obviously. But now we're going up against Dakota Hudson, a guy I really like to to go against, right? So we're having um, Dakota Hudson, who uh, is a very, very, very much a reverse splits guy. Um, we look at his numbers against lefties. He's actually been damn good. My uh, 200 batting average allowed. Um, but if you go against right-handed pitching, right, or right-handed hitting, 298 batting average allowed to righties, um, obviously, that has to do with that changeup in that two-seam sinker there that he's throwing. Um, not a lot of swing and miss, right? We've talked about Hudson on the show a few times. Only a 13% swing in, or 13% K rate at the moment. Um, so there's a lot of balls to be put in play. Cooper's been seeing the ball extremely well. I really like the spot for him to get a hit. Um, after Mr. Reverse Splits here, Dakota Hudson. And then Rodon. Rodon has been absolutely disgusting as of late. Uh, a really nice turnaround. I know he had a few starts in the middle there that he kind of fell fell down a bit. But, man, dude, he has been fantastic at home. 39% K rate at home with a 204 FIP. Going up against the Tigers, who actually haven't faced lefties that much this year. Um, you go into, like, rankings of strikeouts from the amount of strikeouts. Um, and the Tigers are, like, 20th um, versus lefties. And then you look into it deeper. They have, like, 100 less at-bats than most of the teams that are um, obviously on that list, right? So only 600 total at-bats against lefties. Um, and we're seeing about a 24.9% K rate versus lefties this season. And Rodon gets to be at home with a 39% K rate. I like the over 7.5, but it's a little bit juicy. I like minus 140. So I think this is the best spot. Going back to my one of my favorite plays to do here, where we get to just combo it with one of our favorite bats of the day. Um, yeah, these have been pretty good to us. So um, I really like the spot tonight for Rodon and Cooper to come through for us. So that is play number one. If you guys could smash that like button, I really, really appreciate it. You guys have been great um, showing support. Um, obviously, it is much better when you su show support when, when we win, right? Obviously, that makes me feel better that all you guys were able to cash in on these plays. Um, I love doing them. They're, mo they're most fun I have right in the morning, right? Get to cook up some plays for you guys. Um, but, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Obviously, football is coming up soon. Myself and Monito, I'm going to be dropping some some fire on past the prop this year. Um, I know a lot of you guys popped on. If you guys were with us last year, we killed our NFL season last year. Um, and I'm very excited for that again. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that uh, notification bell so you know when we go live here on past the prop again. Um, there. So. While you're smashing the like button, I'm going to pull up my second play here, and that's going to be Brian Reynolds. 
and Freddie Freeman to get a hit minus 118. I think this is the about the max juice I would go, maybe 120. Um, but I really like fading Patrick Corbin. I think a lot of you guys already know that Patrick Corbin is an absolute dumpster fire. Um, a guy that I mean, you're gonna make a lot of money on if you if you decide to fade this man. Um, obviously gives up over 300 batting average to both sides of the plate. So you have nothing to worry about splits wise here. Um, <laughs> 382 batting average to lefties, 306 to righties. Um, but Brian Reynolds, obviously um, being a guy who is able to be a switch hitter um, is great because versus lefties this year, he's betting 271. Um, got some really nice numbers there um, versus lefties on the season. He's got a nice 101 WRC plus. Um, and now obviously facing off against a guy like Patrick Corbin, who's really not going to get too many swings and misses only a 17% K rate so far this year. I like Reynolds here. I, I really liked watching this pirates team. They're very good, um, for how bad people think they are. So I'm not going to say they're great, like good team, but there are a lot, a lot of young guys, a lot of young talent, obviously, um, Castillo looks great. So O'Neill Cruz and Brian Reynolds is like the old guy here, but he's good, right? He was their all-star last year. Um, and he's been fantastic to start this year. Um, just, I mean, if you, if you really have to need anything more, it's just Patrick Corbett's vision to him, right? So really like Reynolds here. I think that he comes through for us, um, in a big way here. So we are on to Freddie Freeman. Um, what a game last night for a guy who faded the Dodgers completely. I had, Plus one and a half. I had their, I had the Rockies run line. I had, uh, I had a complete DFS fade of the Dodgers yesterday because Chad Cool is very, very underrated. I talked about it on the show yesterday, and I talked. I hopefully talked to you guys into taking the Rockies money line um, on past the prop because I, I definitely rolled with them. Um, but now we have Kyle Freeland versus Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman had a hit yesterday, um, but obviously Chad Cool absolutely mowed down these dudes. Um, Kyle Freeland, again, is a reverse splits guy. Pretty drastic as well. Um, 320 batting average to lefties, only at 259 to righties. 547 slugging to lefties. And then you look at his numbers here at home. 5.32 ERA, 304 batting average. Um, at home versus lefties, he's given up a 333 batting average with a 511 slugging. Uh, this is a very scary spot here for Freeland and this Rockies team. Now you piss off the Dodgers. Um, and Freddie Freeman is one of those guys. It doesn't matter who you, who you pitch him with, right? Um, on the road this season, 311 batting average. Away versus lefties, 370 batting average. With three homers, right? We're seeing a lot of slugging out of him this year. Um, and Freeman has just been fantastic, even, even versus lefties, right? He has a 145 WRC plus versus lefties. Um, and he's got a 147 WRC plus on the road this season, right? So there's a lot of things to like. And if you even want to go deeper, it's 202 WRC plus. It means he's two times better um, on the road versus lefties this season. And now you give me a guy who's not good against lefties at home. I love Freeman today. He'll probably be a home run sprinkle of mine. Um, Brian Reynolds, I think he's going to do great tonight against Patrick Corbin. So what we were rolling with today, Brian Reynolds, Freddie Freeman hit parlay, minus 118, and then a Carlos Rodon seven strikeout game, and Garrett Cooper to get a hit at minus 105. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are the best. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys live on the show, 1030 tomorrow, past the prop, coming at you with another guest tomorrow as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are the best, and we'll talk soon.